popping YouTube, what's popping YouTube, it's your boy Straight Rebel coming back guys here with another reaction video, man. Hope everybody's work week is going by amazing because it's basically over, man. This work week is over. But you know the grind don't stop. Hey, if you're working on the weekend, get to that bag, get to that money. You're working on Sunday, hey, get to that bag. But always make sure you leave leave you a day or two, even if they spaced out, you know, get your rest in, get that energy back up. Eat good, get that good, uh, you know, get them good liquids in you, get that good drink. I'm not talking alcoholic, but you know, whatever your favorite drink is, enjoy that. You deserve it. And we got some more videos to get into, man. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video because we had a crazy one. We got Burger King employee arrested after she's caught smoking in the break room. Why in the world would you think it's okay to do this? People's brain nowadays is be fascinating. Why would you think that's okay to do? You smoking in the break. You don't even have the audacity. You know, you don't even have the respect. The, what's the word? You don't even have the right thoughts in your mind just to go outside and smoke. But you caught smoking in the break room inside, like it ain't gonna stink. But you know what? I'm not going to get too much into it. Let's just watch the video and see how it unfolds. Subscribe, like, throw them comments in. Let's get into it. Right hand. I don't. What you doing on probation doing now? Look, don't, don't, don't settle. Just hand it to me and let's go. Look, look, I'm not about to cuff you up right now. We're going to go, we're going to talk outside of your business, but I don't want this on you inside your work, so give it to me real quick. Right. Officers responding to a call where a woman on probation gets caught on camera rolling up marijuana in the break room. Recording. Hold on, so hot. So she was in the break room rolling up. What's going on? We got a call here. Wow. Someone called us. You got water coming from there. Going that way. It ain't for me. I didn't do it. Someone called about Kiara. Kiara? Yeah, I called you for what? Hey, what's up? Hello. How you doing? Someone called us. Ah. Really far. See where I complain about Yeah, me. Someone called about you. I don't know who. Somebody called you about what? They're about to go check. He's about to go check the car. See who called us real quick. Maybe he just left the phone. About me? He said somebody called. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. You gotta make sure they got the right burger. No, we got the right burger. I'm the only one here. I didn't do nothing. We didn't use the bathroom. Hello? No, it's hurt. Pretty good. Um, where, what's, going wh on? what's going on? We're, uh, we're here. Yeah, I told this one of the police oh, was in our break room rolling up marijuana. How did you get that information? One of the other employees sent the video. Who who sent it? A guy named Colton. He's a, he should be there now. He's a, he's an employee there now. Okay. Colton and Gavin. Oh no! Are you not Where you at? Government. I'm at my house. I'm the director. They the manager called me. Okay. The, um, the store manager called me and said, hey, I just got a video of Kiara rolling up marijuana in a break room. Nice. This I'm crazy. like, okay. Okay. Alrighty. Well, uh, we'll try All to right. figure it out. So, um, we're gonna, is there any kind of manager here? Yeah, it's a manager. That had this is why y'all need to stop with this record. I mean, actually, it seems like this person... Uh, I think that I'm about to say what they're recording. And this in person seemed like they snitch. Because <laughs> when he walked in there, everybody looked black for the most part. And I'm thinking in my head, like, damn, who's snitching on who? Like, what the hell? Like, damn, like, somebody trying to get a raise, somebody trying to get somebody, somebody kissing some ass in that mug. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. But damn, like, 
that recorded a video of you and sent it to the Met. It was a miracle. Bro. Okay. All right, we'll figure it out. Thank you. Appreciate it. Can you send us that video? Call him back. Ask him to send a video to us. Definitely need that video. Can I come around here? And how big is that break room? So, the director, Mosley, and you know. Oh my goodness, are you serious? We're sitting there rolling up weed in a fucking break room? Come on. <laughs> That's why I tell people you can never be too safe, never be too sure who's your friend, who's your enemy. You always got to watch, you always got to, you know, you know, sometimes take, you can't always think or be gullible, especially even if you feel like you in your zone, you feel like when you belong, when you work in, like, there's always that one person that can fuck it up for you. Always, all, and all it takes is one person, one person to fuck it up for you and you can lose it all. There that. I'm talking about director. Yeah. Mr. Moosley or... I don't know. Mosley or something like that. Well, he's got a video. It says he has a video of you in the break room rolling up. So, that's what he says he has, yeah. That's why we're here. <coughs> Are you in the room? I mean, I have a pack of one. Sorry if I look at him. That's why we're here. Are you in the room? I mean... I mean, I have a pack of guns. Sorry, if I let go. You can. That's a That's enough. Hell, this thing is 13. Hey, don't get me wrong. As you see, I smoke. But if you're going to bring the weed to work, don't get caught with it at work. She must have been. I was gonna say she must have been high when she did this, but I think she, I think she thought she could get away. She thought she was gonna, she, she thinking she that big for her job. That's what she thinking. She thought she was gonna get away with it. Yeah, I will. Open them up. Yeah, I'll do that. 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 I have bird pain, though. It's in your hand, isn't it? Out of it. You can question the officer also. It's in your right okay, hand. Okay, I don't. What you doing on probation doing now? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look, and you on probation? Just hand it to me and let's go. Look, look, I'm not about to cuff you up right now. Please. We're going to go. We're going to talk outside of your business. It's but ugly, I want this though. Outside of your work to give it to me real quick. Yes, All right. Let's just go talk outside. Rule number one, never break character. <laughs> you see, oh, when she's like that, please. It's a wrap. You're done. You're caught. It's over. The neat day, donezo. Like, don't, <laughs> don't break character. Come on. Why don't you break character? They got you. <laughs> you better just keep on playing that. I don't know what you're talking about, hey, rule. Okay. Okay. I would have got rid of that. What'd she say? We'll talk outside. We're gonna figure this out. Chill out. Hey, chill out. Okay. Okay? Ain't nobody smoke inside of me. She said, ain't nobody smoke inside of me. What are you on probation for? Huh? Grand Theft Auto. 
Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Yeah, your ID on you in there? Yeah. At work. I'm not even smoke at work to be honest. But why are you rolling up at work? Come on now. I guess you saw his brain and she's about to go outside and take that walk. Uh, uh, uh. Dodger here? Yeah, he's going on last like 16. Alright, so what's up? Rule number one, if you're going to roll up at work, roll up in the bathroom. Come on. You're going up in a break room where everybody can just easily walk in and see what you're doing. Go to work. Why couldn't you just go to the women's go to the bathroom? Go to the store. Like, when? Bro. Yeah, for Grand Theft, right? Break room. So, I get here and say, well, we got the call for, asked her for permission to search her bag. She said yes. I see her try to put this around her back, so that's where we're at. But I told her I wasn't going to cause any drama inside her work or anything like that, so that's why I just brought her out here, and that's where we're at now. Um, I wouldn't mind taking it if you don't, if you were busy or something, you get a call if you want to. I'm going to jail. Huh? I'm going to jail. I'm not sure yet. Take her, Jim. Go on three, run runner real quick. Well, there is gonna be Keep going to jail. And then we got to test vehicle. that stuff. Why don't you, mm -hmm. you can sit in the car while you do that. I know it's raining. Keep going to jail. Andy, you can get a job. Who's your probation officer? Mr. Garza. Is that the one over there on the 60th Avenue? No, or like Cascades. Cascades. Yeah, so it's like already trying to find an address for probation and not a violent to go in. It's all it's a lot. It's a lot. And I know that's not an excuse, but it's shit. So you homeless? It sounds like she's homeless. Because if you don't got no address to verify for your probation, you're homeless. That's what it literally sounds like. Because I ain't going to lie. When I did my little, whatever, month, and I got out, I didn't have no address. I had to, like, verify an address. I don't even remember what address I even verified as. I already don't remember. But, yeah, when you're on probation and you get out, or you get out, you have to verify address. It don't sound like she got an address. It's all bad. It seemed like she probably just, she must have just got out. Oh no, I went all the way, like all the way in the back in the back. Okay. To smoke? No, not even to smoke. Just to roll it up? Just to roll it up? Roll it. And to be honest, like, this is really like... Don't they drug test you on probation? Yeah, and this is the, and it's, I don't have a drug test until like next month. This is, and I have not smoked since I've been out of jail. Come on. How long were you in jail? Four months. But I haven't smoked, and I was like, I don't need it, and I've been doing so good. And one time I up really bad, because up now. Yeah. And so, did you... She's not Miranda, is it, either? Just like, okay. Oh, oh shit. Um, did you hear what he said? She's not Miranda. Like he didn't sit there and tell he didn't sit there and say anything. Uh, if he didn't give her her Miranda rights or nothing. He just she just filling the beans. She just talking. Now, I feel like I don't know if that could work in her favor because they didn't read her, her Miranda rights. But she already knows she on probation. I mean I put it like this. I <laughs> actually don't really because this ain't like I wanna say this is like her first time. Being in trouble with the law. When you're on probation, you're not supposed to have no contact with the cops of no sort. They should not be called for you. You should not be a name that they bring up. None of that. That's already a violation right there that they there because of her. That right there is enough. Send her right back. Yeah. All we'll this enough. Sure. That's cool with you. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. 
that. Just hang out with her. I'm gonna go help him out for a minute. I think she's gonna be. I don't think she's gonna. Be, uh, I personally wouldn't arrest her for the weed, but if she's violation of probation, that's a kind of different thing, don't you think? Yep. At least I think so. Here's my thinking. She's on probation. She knows better. Yeah. She's at her job rolling up marijuana right in the middle of the job. Right. Open up enough for everybody to be videoing her doing it. Right. It's kind of a silly mistake, don't you think? I think it's if a she, very stupid mistake. Yeah. I mean, if she was in her car doing it, that's one thing. Right. She's inside of her workplace rolling up. Exactly. So you think you want so to I think she has bathroom. no cares at all about her job. So you give her an NTA, or do you want to just... No, if she's violating her probation, she's got to go to jail. Okay. Exactly. That's my thinking. Now, you do have the discretion to say, hey, you're going to lose your job because you're rolling up marijuana. There's a video of you doing it at your work. Did you ever get the video, by the way? I have to check. He says he's going to send it. Oh, yep, he sent it. All right, let's watch it real quick just to see what she is. Ah, I wanted to see it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'll be on channel three. Get these tags. Let me see it. He said it was hey, pictures boy. from a video, I think, is what he said. Ah. It's a lot of screenshots. But that's enough. A screenshot's enough. That's. That's her. Huh? Yep. It looks like her, right? What did you say? Did she got that ring on? Oh, damn. Well, she's already admitted to it. I mean, it's in her hand. So this is one of those things. If you're not like, if you're not sure, I come dispatch and get back in touch with me. Well, maybe they forgot about you. That one other so guy trying to be so cool. To to like... Make sure it's marijuana before we can arrest her for it. Okay. All right. Yeah, That's it. it. Oh, so damn, it's not sticking to something else. Well, it's still in the dry. Well, we're still in the dry. Put some gloves on. And then she seems to be pretty cooperative if she did have to go to jail. So you're going to be doing the handcuffing. He put it on her. Go ahead. Alrighty. So we're going to do the testing first. So I'll show you how that goes. Are you going to test it? So, pop the trunk. Well, this cop like a rookie cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that guy must have around to do it. Yeah, they really about to do all this for some tree. What's the matter, had you a one now? Well, I can see it was like a powder. Do you have the stuff? That's the shit. Come on. You must be a rookie cop. Bro, they going through all this. This is test and treat. This is insane. Let's put them on over here. I can see it feels like some cocaine. Or it's getting rained on for no reason. Then they blot it out by like, come on. Alright, so. So you got to write down. Yeah, that's that's correct. So you pinch it, twist it. Or you can cut it open on the two. I just like doing this because it keeps most of it in the blunt wrapper, which makes it easier for us in the long run. So there you go. It's all misdemeanor, so you know, keeps it in the blunt, so it makes it easier for y'all. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Just get rid of it afterwards. Just cut a slip. You make it seem like you make it seem like are y'all or y'all gonna smoke it? Because y'all definitely not giving it back to her to smoke. She going to jail. <laughs> she going to jail. But uh, what are y'all gonna smoke it? Or that what you saying? Let's make it easier for y'all. What makes it easier for y'all? Too much or too little. 
the weight's not that important as long as it's under 20 grams. So from here, it's going to turn purple or blue. It's going to turn blue if it's marijuana. Like a blue is purple. What's going to turn blue? You'll see. So I'm going to break this. Break it all up. Get that down in there. And then watch it, watch it change color. Ready? Aggravate it for a couple seconds. And then watch. Watch the liquid. I wonder how that happens. It's really cool. See it? Yep. <coughs> purple, right? It is purple. really cool. So purple means it is marijuana, THC, hashish. So that is a positive test. Get on the body camera. Get on your body camera. As purple as purple can get. So then wrap it up in a glove. You don't want to touch that stuff. Yeah, you're doing all this. You've got to arrest it now. So. That's another thing. Some of these cops, I feel like, are kind of smart about it because they know, like, he puts his body cam here, body cam here, your body cam. Like, they be wanting to play that soft role, but at the end of the day, they'd be like, this is recording. We got us on body cam. Like, you let the, you let this person go. Like, nah, it ain't, it ain't happening. Yeah, she's on probation. She's rolling up marijuana in her job. I think she needs to go to jail. Okay? Alright. So, let's go, uh... Keep on with you. Let's go talk to her. Yeah. Someone seems to be like, alright, look. Whoop. I'm gonna say, this is how you say it. So, look. You got your job, you know you're on probation. You shouldn't be doing this. But you got your job, you want to marijuana. You look at the tangle units, you know they're gonna come through, uh, 23 pounds. You got to make better decisions, so go ahead and turn around. You got to make better decisions. Yep. Tango 13, you got me? 10-9. You gotta come at 20th Street, Southbound. You can't hear me, you're driving. You quit work. You're on probation. I'm already 97. Or Tango 10, you got me? Have a lot of weight. It's kind of hard to feel sorry. You know better. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, of course I'm wrong. Exactly. So, we're gonna do it this simple way. Right. Yep. Right. I'll grab it for you, but go and listen to him for right now. Okay? He's over by our phone. iPhone. SV is pink, it's right there by the computer. But if, like, if you're sitting in your car or like you're down the street doing this, right. I probably would a little more cool. Like, hey, look, you know, I get it. You made a mistake. But you're in the middle of your work. You don't think you're wasting your I mean, that's just silly, you already know that. Right? You got anything in your lighter. pockets? Where's the lighter? Come on. It's pocket. I got. Do you mind if he grabs yeah, it? No, then go ahead. Okay. And got change in this pocket. Would you mind just grabbing that phone? How much change we talking? It's a pink iPhone? Uh, no, it's white, but the case is like pink or purple. I'm How much sorry. change we talking? You know, you're all right. I don't know. No, no, no. Just a little change? Anything in your phone pockets? Nothing hidden away. Do you got the bag of weed anywhere? No. Anything in a poke me and stick me anything like that? No. What you've had is what you rolled? No, I think so. Check? Yeah, I don't got front pockets. You don't got front pockets? No. Yeah, you really don't. Like, that's. that's <laughs> That's just playing with some people. Alright. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and get her in the car. We know it's raining. We don't want to leave her out here longer than she needs to be. Hey, double lock those real quick. They're going to get tighter. They don't, need, don't want you to get any tighter on you, so double lock them on her real quick. I mean, hey, like the situation right, shows, if you chill, the cops will be chill. Like That's alright. Still going to jail for violating your probation, so. Alright, no. What do yeah, you that's crazy. Put your little, yeah, four put little side of it. Smoke. Put the little side of it, the little yeah. side of it, into that little hole, and then click it. So I go in there straight. Four there. months in smoke. You need smoke. to get yourself one of these. Yeah. That's it's why I'm yeah. about to smoke again. Push it hard. No. Nope. Just take four months and we go more time. Is that too tight? Up. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I don't now know look. about me. So stop that from happening again. Hold oh, it right yeah. here. Yes, Keep okay. it away from her body, yeah. so that doesn't click anymore. There you go. I need to get these. Where'd you get these? Online. Dolls. Do you know, like Amazon or something? We'll worry about that once we get her in the car. Let's uh take control of your. He said you get on Amazon or something. Yeah, this guy is definitely a rookie cop because he don't know. He don't. <laughs> he don't know what the test would look like. He. Kiara is charged with possession of 20 grams or less of cannabis, which is classified as a first degree misdemeanor which violates her probation. I mean, 
I don't know why they keep why they say twenty grams or less. Like, bro, that was a blunt. She had no damn twenty grams and no damn blunt. But finally, your parole, he was cool about it though. So you know, you didn't have to go through no episode looking crazy out here. And, you know, you know, like especially if they had screenshot video, it was all bad from the get go. But y'all, let me know y'all thoughts about this video. Would y'all ever do anything like this? Please. Be honest. Be 100% honest. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit them likes. Let's run these numbers up, man. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.